Moor high above the Dragados Flatiron pre-cast tub girder facility, located between Fresno and Kings counties. These tub girders are much bigger than the beam girders we showcased earlier this year. Tub girders span between two columns on either end, with the trains traveling their length on top of them. Here to explain is Glenn Lawson, the deputy contract manager for the facility. A tub girder is essentially, uh, like the name describes, it's uh, essentially two girders with a soffit on it, and it's a tub. And so one tub will, will service one line, and so we'll have two tubs, or a left and a right, and those tubs will be um, picked up and installed on the, on the piers. These tub girders are gargantuan. This one is 110 feet long, 14 feet wide, and nine feet tall. All told, the contractor will have to produce 90 such tub girders. To maintain a speed of 200 plus miles per hour, our trains need to stay flat and curve gently. Tub girders like these help us do that up and down construction package 2-3. Some of the tub girders are being built over creeks and environmentally sensitive areas, and so having your, your impact in one location and being able to transport those girders uh, lessens the impacts of the more environmentally critical areas. The Conejo Viaduct is one example of where they'll go, connecting the pergola and the abutment structures. Earlier this year, tub girders began being trucked up from the facility and craned into place on the southern end of the Conejo Viaduct. The U.S.'s first 100% renewably powered and 200 plus mile per hour high speed train is one very complicated puzzle. And now you can see that the pieces of California high speed rail are really coming together.